This is a musical saw, and I'm going to show you how I play it. You use an old fiddle bow, or something not too valuable because it's really hard on your bow strings. You tighten up your bow very tight, and you put lots of rosin on it. This thing on the end is called a cheat. It's just a handle for me to hold on to that makes it easier to play the saw. You don't have to use a cheat if you don't want to. Now you can hold it like a regular violin bow. If you play violin, you're probably going to naturally want to hold the bow like that. I like to hold the bow like this. It gives me a better angle. You can hold it however you need to hold it though to get a good draw across the saw. You're going to prop the saw handle between your knees, hold on to your cheat or the end, and what you need to do is make a very small S curve. The S curve is going like this and like this and then back up. But it's a very subtle curve and it's the only way that you're going to get a sound out of a musical saw is to have a little bit of an S curve in it. Once you've got that S curve, there is a sweet spot to play on a musical saw. If it's a lower note, it's right around down here and if it's a higher note, your S curve is more extreme and you're going to be playing higher up. The vibrato is with my knee. I don't shake my hand like this. I do it with my knee. I jiggle my knee a little bit. So no vibrato. And then with vibrato. 